Eep. Why do I look so shiny? I just put sunscreen on. But good morning, family. It's the day after the chief Tensi title and all the setup is being brought down. Backing up, backing up, backing up. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, puppy. Okay, Ewa. Good morning, Ewa. <laughs> How are you now? Okay, I'm here. I'm ready. I was showering. Okay, I can start warming it then. Okay. Okay. Are you going to the field? Okay. All right. Typical Sunday traditional meal. Alright, plantain, pepper soup, dry fish. And my dad will mix it with like palm oil and pepper and salt. So he said I should warm it. Look how much better my face looks inside. It's so weird. The lighting and all. But so far it's been about I think a week since I've been off the rock eating. And my skin is doing good. I'm definitely, I'm definitely made. Honestly, I've just been thinking about it. Like, God is so powerful. Like, of course, He created my body to handle whatever it is that may be coming my way. <clears throat> and today, I just realized that the vitamin C I've been taking has sugar, and I meant to be on a no sugar thing, even though I've still been having sugar. I've not even been vlogging, so I don't know what I've even been telling you guys. But I think I shared in my video. In my new year video that i'm doing no sugar this year so <coughs> i modified that to mean no like chocolate and sweets like and desserts like obvious sugar things like cakes things like that nothing but i do sugary drinks like if i'm having coffee like a pre-made latte i'll have that or if i'm having um like a kind of red bull i'll have that so for now, let me enjoy what I can enjoy. Okay, I'm gonna call my dad. I said I should call him when he starts boiling. So I am officially back in Lagos and I wanted to I wanted to end the video by giving you guys a sample of my word of the day videos because that is what we're going to be going back to now that the Chief Tensi title is over. The next vlog worthy event is not really an event, it's more so like a spiritual exercise I'm going on. So I'll vlog it, it's gonna be happening. I'll be sharing the vlog 
in february basically so for the rest of this month it's just going to be word of the day videos today i landed on this page and if you notice i had already highlighted it on the 11th of december 2022 so i decided to i reread it anyways and then three chapters is 35 36 37 and i just absolutely loved chapter 37 so i figured let's read it together and highlight together i pray that you know you have your own fresh revelation from the word i pray that whoever needs to hear this word is led to this video and i also pray that god speaks clearly through me even though it's such a beautiful psalm i feel like it's self-explanatory i'm not really going to be speaking but i'm just going to be highlighting you know what stands out to me so today is the 10th of january 2023 so psalm 37 it says a psalm of david don't worry about the wicked don't envy those who do wrong for like grass they soon fade away like spring flowers they soon wither Trust in the Lord and do good, then you will live safely in the land and prosper. Take delight in the Lord and he will give you your heart's give you your heart's desires. Commit everything you do to the Lord, trust him and he will help you. He will make your innocence radiate like the dawn, and the justice of your cause will shine like the noonday sun. Be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for him to act. Don't worry about evil people who prosper or fret about their wicked schemes. Stop being angry. Turn from your rage. Do not lose your temper. It only leads to harm. For the wicked will be destroyed, but those who trust in the Lord will possess the land. Soon the wicked will disappear. Though you look for them, they will be gone. The lowly will possess the land and will live in peace and prosperity. The wicked plot against the godly, they snarl at them in defiance, but the Lord just laughs, for he sees their day of judgment is coming. The wicked draw their swords and string their bows to kill the poor and the oppressed, to slaughter those who do right, but their swords will stab their own hearts and their bows will be broken. It is better to be godly and have little than to be evil and rich, for the strength of the wicked will be shattered. But the Lord takes care of the godly. Day by day, the Lord takes care of the innocent, and they will receive an inheritance that lasts forever. They will not be disgraced in hard times. Even in famine, they will have more than enough. Yes, Lord. But the wicked will die. The Lord's enemies are like flowers in a field. They will disappear like smoke. The wicked borrow and never repay, but the godly are generous givers. Those the Lord blesses will possess the land, but those he curses will die. The Lord directs the steps of the godly. He delights in every detail of their lives. Though they stumble, they will never fall, for the Lord holds them by the hand. Once I was young and now I am old, yet I have never seen the godly abandoned or their children begging for bread. The godly always gives generous loans to others and their children are a blessing. Turn from evil and do good and you will live in the land forever. For the Lord loves justice, but he will never abandon the godly. And he will never abandon the godly. He will keep them safe forever and the children of the wicked will die. The Lord will never abandon the godly. The godly will possess the land and will live there forever. The godly offer good counsel. They teach right from wrong. They have made God's law their own, so they will never slip from his path. The wicked wait in ambush for the godly, looking for an excuse to kill them. For the Lord will not let the wicked succeed, or the godly be condemned when they are put on trial. Put your hope in the Lord. Travel steadily along his path. He will honor you by giving you the land. You will see the wicked destroyed. I have seen the I have seen wicked and ruthless people flourishing like a tree in its native soil. But when I looked again, they were gone. Though I searched for them, I could not find them. Look at those who are honest and good. For a wonderful future awaits those who love peace. But the rebellious will be destroyed. They have no future. The Lord rescues the godly. He is their fortress in times of trouble. The Lord helps them, rescuing them from the wicked. He saves them, and they find shelter in him. 
My word of the day for you is find shelter in the Lord. Make your home in the Lord. Take the light in the Lord and he will give you your heart's desires. I always get questions asking where to um, get this Bible from. I got it on Instagram. Um, but the it's like a, a store in Lagos. Actually, I tried to find it, but I couldn't find it again. But last time I had reached out to them, they said that it was sold out because I wanted to get it for a friend. So I ended up even ordering it on Amazon. The ones I gave out um, in the giveaway, I ordered on Amazon. So you can order it on Amazon. Just look for Inspire Praise. Alrighty, I'll see you tomorrow for another Word of the Day video. I love you and Jesus loves you even more. And thank you so much for all the support and the encouragement and the congratulations for my father and my family, my real life family. And yeah, I'm grateful for my online family. See you guys. Mm -hmm.